Hey, this is Ricky here. I'm just going to talk to you about some compositing, how to take uh, multiple shots and, you know, somewhat seamlessly blend them together to make them appear as though they are all one shot, like uh, we've done here with this uh, short film. This is actually four different shots put together here. Uh, Billy, for Christ's sake, where are you? Okay, so I'm gonna talk about this shot here a little bit. Um, this is our actress, Caitlin, from the feature film Chainsmoke. She's turning around and uh, reacting to a vicious killer walking up behind her. And uh, here's the background plate we're gonna be using. Um, the inside of the car is gonna be you know, composited on top of this shot. And uh, a camera move is gonna be added to this shot to make it kind of seamlessly fit. Here's a, a really rough kind of rendition just so we can see the composition of the two shots together. I just did this kind of rough and, and final cut so we can see what we're, what our end result is going to um, look like in terms of composition. Obviously we've got to move the background shot over and uh, throw it out of focus, make it look like it's actually been shot through the camera lens. And here's the final. You can see it's been uh, tracked along with the move. The killer's up there in the, the corner on the left. All the green's been removed obviously and um, kind of looks like he's there. Okay, now this is the long shot. Um, take number 11 was the best, had the best blood splatter on the window. We have a couple people being killed on the outside of the car. And I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here. So we gotta remove all the green. And uh, green appears a few times in this scene. There's a little bit up there in the corner. You can see out the back window. And uh, if we'll go back again and look at that. The green itself is not filling the whole window. So we're gonna have to go through and tweak that a little bit, add a roto shape in there to kind of, you know, get the whole shape of the window removed. Just a little bit of finessing, a little bit of tweaking, we'll make this thing look good. And then we got the uh, shadows on her, make it look like the car's actually moving. Now those were actually done in production, that wasn't a composite job there. Okay, now we come back, we see as the killer leaves the car, a little bit of green in the bottom corner down there. Gotta take that out so he gets out. And we pan back to see our actress, Caitlin, a little bit of green up top there for a second. Now, the problem with this shot is the take was really good, but here at the end, we have a bad camera move. We've lost the edge of the green, and it's, it's not composed right. We're supposed to just be looking out the front of the car the entire time, which obviously doesn't happen until now. So we've got a big uh, problem to overcome. So we're going back now to take number seven, which was a good ending, but it was a, the rest of the take wasn't so great. Blood didn't look good, performance wasn't there. Um, this one has a much better ending, so now we have to kind of seamlessly blend those two shots together somehow. Now here we're going to look at them side by side. Take 11 on the left, 7 on the right. Now we can see the camera move doesn't quite line up, but the back of that seat there that just crossed frame is going to make a good point for us to put our transition. And now we can see the two shots put together. There is take 11, that's the good take, and then behind it we're literally doing a wipe on the back of that chair, but we're stabilizing shot 11 to take out the camera move and tracking shot 7 um, to add that camera move to 11 to make it seamless. So here I have applied the roto on the back of the chair there, so we're taking out the uh, stuff behind the chair. And uh, now we're putting in the stuff from the end of the other take, but you see they don't line up right. So what we have to do is track that second shot and uh, match the camera movement to make it look seamless. And so here in a ultra slow-mo, you can see that the, the two really do blend well together. The perspective of the camera and the placement is similar enough in the two shots that you can't really tell the difference. Now we're going to fast forward to the end. So now we've got her coming up in our good take here, looking out the front of the car. Now we've got a plate here, a clean plate of uh, the killer walking towards the car. That's going to go in the front window. And then we have another shot after that that has to be, you know, seamlessly um, transitioned to here. This is the beginning of our next shot, which then also continues. So those two shots have to be put together. So now we'll see, camera moves up here. We've got our, um, our shot tracked into place using those tracking markers. That's the first shot we saw of the killer, uh, clean plate. He's approaching the back of the car, and then we have this gradient wipe that kind of blends into the top of the car itself. Now we're on another shot. So the background plate is actually two separate shots as well. Back to the blood splatter, bam. That doesn't look too good once we've taken the green out because there's a little bit around the edge. Red's a really bad color to composite, especially on DV. Uh, not the best 
medium to uh, composite with, but there you go. So there, that is our digital blood, and what we did to achieve that is we took the regular blood splatter, outlined it, um, just created a shape, and then added some extra, you know, streaks of blood there just to make it look a little more gnarly. And then we took out the original blood and added that back in with uh, another tracker. Um, and then you see it slowly kind of wipe in, which gives the uh, it has the same splatter pattern that the original one had. So the original one worked for us because it gave us the shape and it also gave us the reference that we wanted to use to see how it splatters on the window. So now we'll watch the final composite all the way through and see how it looks. And there's our transition into the back of the car. Oh, <laughs> 